Hey, welcome back everyone. I am Ishan Sharma and today I want to talk about how can you get started in web development. If you are just a beginner, you don't know anything about coding or programming and you want to discover this particular path and if you want to go through learning how to code and you want to take up web development as your first uh, way to code something. Okay, uh, so I'll just talk about how can you approach this, what all you need to learn, what are the best resources and all. Uh, in this short video so make sure that you watch till the very end and yeah let's get started so the number one thing to understand with web development is that you don't need to know a lot to start earning from it if you are thinking about earning money as a developer like a lot of people think about that as an option and so i just want to say that it's not that hard to start earning money with web development Okay, uh, first of all, if you want to get started, you have to have the skills of HTML and CSS. These are the two technologies. First of all, you have to understand what a backend and a frontend looks like. Okay, what does a frontend mean? What does backend mean? What are web pages? What are websites? What is HTML? What is HTTPS? What is HTTP? What is an SSL certificate? You know, things like uh, short, small things like networking and all. I think that's really, uh, that's really important to understand uh, before you get into learning how to code these websites and uh, yeah then you can start with learning about html now if you were in school you must have learned about html uh, in your uh, 9th or 10th grade so basically html is the bones of the website okay uh, for a beginner that is a pretty good explanation about what html is and so HTML would pretty much just give you the structure of your website. Okay, it would have some image tags. There are multiple tags in it that you have to remember and then you can use that to create some good looking websites to get started with it. Okay, uh, so yeah, uh, this, the structure of the website is called as HTML. Okay, then we get into the more uh, complex part and that is called as a CSS uh, language. It's not a language, it's just a way to style things basically so if you're using css that way you can you can style your uh, tags that you're using in html okay they just uh, they link up okay so there is your, your html file and there is your css file they link up with uh, with a particular code that you write in your html but after that whatever changes you do in the css will show up in your website and in your html okay so you can let, let's just say you can take a particular uh, a particular text and you can change its color or you can do a, a bunch of cool stuff with, uh, with CSS, okay? So these are the main things to remember. You can, don't have to particularly understand how JavaScript works and all that. If you know at least HTML and CSS, then you can make some pretty standard front-end websites. Okay, uh, so yeah, understand HTML and CSS pretty well. Uh, a few resources to check out if you are a more visual kind of a person would be to go on to YouTube and search for uh, Traversy Media. Okay, Traversy Media is a YouTuber. Uh, his name is Brad Traversy, if you don't know. Basically, he does a really good uh, job at explaining to you how all of these things work. Okay, and he has a bunch of tutorials taking you through HTML and, and talking about HTML in depth. So go through that and learn HTML properly. Learn all the tags, how everything works. Learn about the attributes of the tags. And once you've done that, then you can move on to the CSS part of it. Okay, in CSS, we have a bunch of things to remember. Uh, again, you can use Traversy Media. There is another YouTuber uh, that is called as Free Code Camp, uh, and they have some really amazing tutorials to help you all. Okay, if you are more of a podcast guy, you can, might want to check out syntax.fm, or there are a bunch of podcasts that you can search. Just type on Apple Podcast how to learn to code or something, and you'll get a bunch of them. Okay, uh, so yeah, really important to understand HTML, CSS. You also want to use something called as a Mozilla. Uh, it's called as MDN. Basically, this is a website where you can go through and it has a pretty good documentation about HTML and CSS. Other websites include W3Schools. W3Schools is another uh, something similar to MDN by Mozilla, but this website in particular is really amazing. It shows you live demos of uh, the code that uh, it is teaching you. And so I think that is a great way for you to understand how HTML and CSS works. Okay, so yeah, you have uh, understood that much. You know what HTML is, you know what CSS is. Next, you have to do some projects. Okay, 
this is the point where you can start making some good looking websites okay without uh, knowing a lot of javascript or something you can make some uh, pretty decent looking websites and you should also know how to use icons and how to use uh, bootstrap bootstrap is a is a framework that uses css to just create some some uh, great looking websites with with uh, usable components okay so i think that is something that is really amazing that you can use learn to use bootstrap and learn to use things like Fla font awesome and also learn to use the google font library so that is something that i would advise you to understand um so yeah guys this is just a pretty basic overview of what web development is then you can move on to some more complex topics like javascript which definitely is more complex but that way you will be able to create more dynamic websites and uh, you can just do a a lot of crazy stuff with once you know javascript okay so yeah guys that is it if you want to learn javascript i'll make another video talking about a bit more into more advanced stuff into web development that we'll do in a separate video but this was just a very 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 uh, you know uh, huge uh, we're looking at the big picture of web development this is how it looks like and once you know html and css and you have a bunch of projects you can now approach to some uh, clients that want to get their website started and you can just ask them that hey would you like me to help you build your website and uh, you show them your projects and if they are interested they would definitely say yes uh, a few online platforms that you can check out are freelancer then and then it is upwork tap chief and uh, there are a bunch of others that you can check out i'll have those in the caption in the description check it out but yeah guys that should do it for this particular video i hope you enjoyed if you did make sure that you hit the like share it with your friends and uh, yeah get started with dev development it is a pretty cool field i enjoy it myself a lot and i hope you too will have a great time learning it thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye